For more Bollywood gossip, hit the bell icon and never miss a video from Filmi Mantra. not just in india balki abroad bhi kai sare festivals mein you know uh, it has been appreciated and we are honored that we'll be uh, seeing the trailer now so to talk about this and to talk about the achievements of the filmmaker and how did this happen matlab ye to bahut badi cheez hai ye ho kaise gayi may i invite on stage sabse pehle business head z studios mr sujay kutti ladies and gentlemen zordar taaliyan ho jaye unke liye wah एक ही सवाल जो कि हर किसी के जहन में इस समय आ रहा है हाउ डिड दिस हैपन यू नो मिस्टर माजिद मजीदी ए आर रहमान साहब उनका म्यूजिक विशाल भारद्वाज साहब के लिरिक्स डायलॉग्स एंड इतनी कमाल की कास्ट हाउ डिड दिट ऑल हैपन हाउ हाउ डिड इट क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड इट हैपन बट इट जस्ट हैपन सर है Nama pictures happened. We are these studios happened. Right. It's it's all t- talking about extraordinary together. Yes. So that's the whole journey, and that's how it came across. Ishan, Malavika. So I mean, Raman sir is not yet here at this point in time. But the whole setup, the kind of people. But Hindi we say na, log milte gaye karva banta gaya. Exactly that in yeah. that manner, and that's how it pro- progressed. And it's been a year now. and here we are ready to release the trailer at this point in time and and everybody is just loving it the kind of response the movie's already got what do you have to say on that oh just the beginning oh, just the beginning okay, it is just a big statement you know over here uh, you know uh, because nobody seen bombay like this this poster says it all the first one that we had put out nobody has seen bombay like this of course it's the expertise of absolutely, some stalwarts absolutely, you know absolutely so yahan pe uh, another thing you know z studios has always you know uh, been talked about as the studio that has backed some content driven cinema you know bahut hi bahut hi samajhdar cinema ke liye so is samay you you've collaborated with namo pictures please tell us about this collaboration what can i tell i mean i should call them and Let, ask them how yes. the collaboration has been because it's been a great journey it's been a year it's been a great journey lot of talks discussions working together uh going to festivals putting the movies together the songs all of it so it's been really a great journey working if we, we were the opening film that was a huge yes. achievement huge yes. achievement for all of us to be in goa if he telling us inviting us be to be the opening film i think that has been never seen before so for that 
that journey together. It's been a great association. So I would like to call them on stage. Please. Sure, this is for you. No, no, you can't just get away like that. Nah? You're like, no, 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 it's not like Please, so we'll start with you. Kishore, tell us, tell us about this collaboration with Z Studios. Okay, she's going to do the honors. Please, please, Shireen. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here today. And uh, we are really excited. And uh, it's a very proud moment for us to be sharing the trailer with you all today. And uh, firstly, I would like to thank Mr. Majidi for having the faith and conviction and the belief in us to you know, produce his first film in India, his first Indian film in India. Yes. And uh, it's been a great journey and not only professionally, but also personally as a human being. I mean, it's, it's, it's been an incredible experience and a lot to learn from him. And we hope to continue this journey together. Absolutely. I was just talking to Mr. Kutti. We were talking about this thing. I said, this is Brahmastra. Hai. You know, everyone, you know, Mr. Majidi, A.R. Rehman, sahab, Vishal Bhardwaj, it's such an amazing cast. Everyone is with each other. So this is, this is like next to impossible for someone else. I mean, it's, it's something like he said just happened. And uh, it was a first in India and we were really... We followed his cinema, Children yes, of Heaven, yes. Baran, and all, you know, all his films. And we were real, really great fans of his work. And uh, I think it's been a dream to work with him. And today, it's really a surreal feeling to share this experience with you. And we hope that we'll get all the support from you all. Of course, of course. The and kind of <laughs> reactions you're getting, Abhi, I'm sure they all are going to love it. Or it's a be, you know, blockbuster, bol diya, samne, <laughs> You know? So what we'll do is now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll, we'll uh, welcome the legend himself. You know, it's, um, I, I don't have words to describe his art. Uh, people all, all across the globe, they look up to his work and uh, uh, people study his work. Song of Sparrows was the first movie which I had seen before. After that, I was a fan and then Children of Heaven. Of course, I had seen it before. And he is someone everybody looks up to. Uh, international fraternity, jo film fraternity, hai, wo inko bahut adar karti hai, bahut pyar karti hai. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Majid Majidi. And yes. Welcome, sir. Would like to welcome you. And uh, this is for you. Take the mics. And should the Hindi mein bolna chahunga pehle to swagat hai. Welcome to India. Aapka bahut bahut swagat hai. That's how we welcome people. Salam arz me konam khidmat se khanum aagayun. Kali mamnun ke tash bo bordin. Inja dar bago mishe kofti ke juz ve shahroi mane. Yani hind baran ke shwar dubon. بنابراین من هم خودم رو غریبی اینجا احساس نمی کنم و جزی از شما می بینم. First I want to say hello to all the audiences. I really appreciate that uh, you are here. And uh, so now India is my homeland. So I, ha I have the feelings that actually I'm in my country. And so feel... واقعیتش اینه که برحال در یک کشور اگه فیلم ساختن خب in fact, it's very difficult and risky for a, a foreign director to make actually film in another country. But as Pictures, the majority of the people who are in the The point is uh, because of these uh, similarities between Iran and India, even on the cultural side, so it happened. So, and also, I have great friends 
helped me actually Nama Picture, Zia Studio, and all the Indian crews that helped me to have a, such a wonderful experience in making the films here. آره همونجوری که می‌دونی جمعیت ایرانی خیلی زیادی در هند زندگی می‌کنن. As you know we have a, a huge population of Iranians who live in India. از سال‌های خیلی خیلی دور. From long time ago they are here. و در واقع همین مشترکات باعث شده که به حال ارتباط خیلی نزدیکی بین ایران و هند باشه. And for all these things it happened that there are many similarities and so uh, between Iran and India as well. یکی از دوستان خیلی خوبه هم و تنهای ما آقای دکتر علی ایرانی که از اصلا اینجا متولد شده و در واقع بند هندی ایرانیه و اون روز هم اینجاست و ممنونم از تشفرمایش و کمک های خیلی زیادی به لحاظ دوستی من کرد تو این پروژه و ممنونم از ایشون و همه ایرانی ها Also I should appreciate Dr. Ali Irani He is Iranian also he lives in India Indian person and so helped me a lot and uh, also I want to appreciate all Iranians who supported us here mm, for this project. A lot of people, you know, a lot of these filmmakers, they love his work, they study his work. So what are his views on the same? Well, this was one of the first things that I wanted to make a new film in film. In the end, I was in the end. کلا در آسیا برها خب خیلی مطرح و بخصو در هند بر من خب خیلی شگفت انگیز بود بعضی وقت فکر میکردم که من انقدر که تو هند معروفم شد تو ایران نباشم و تو هر جا که میرفتم برها فنای خیلی زیادی بود و همین ها باعث شد که بر واقع من بیشتر علاقه من بشم به اینکه بر واقع در هند کار کنم و ممنونم از همه کسایی که بر حال سینمای من رو دنبال کردن و مشوق شدن که من در هند حضور پیدا کنم it was one of the main reasons I decided actually to uh, make a film in India. Sometimes I believe that actually I'm more famous in India rather than my country. <laughs> and so I have a huge fan also in India, in Asia. And I want to, I'm thankful to all my fans here in India and also those who support me. He's uh, famous across the globe, but uh, we, we all love him and uh, would like to thank him for this amazing movie. به حال من تشکر میکنم از دوستان خوبم به خصوص نما پیکچرز بچه های خیلی خیلی جوون های خیلی خوبی بودن و همکاری خیلی خوبی داشتیم به حال هفت سال منتظر من شدن که در واقع من این پروژه رو بیام کار بکنم و در واقع اصرار اونا و سماجت اونها و که اعتماد من در واقع خوب جلب شد برای این چیز و ممنونم ازشون که به حال این فرصت همکاری پیش اومد I should appreciate actually my friends, specifically I should appreciate Nama picture. So they are really well talented and so it took about seven, eight years actually they pushed and pushed and so it happened finally. And uh, very wonderful collaboration together. Um, and it was a kind of motivation also from the side because of this. هیچ کس از ایران نبود انواع من غیر از شاید مثلا یه نفر به عنوان یکی از دستیارها ولی همه عوامل من از هند بود و این خب خیلی کمک بزرگی به من کرد که همه عوامل از هند بودن و ارتباط خیلی خوبی داشتیم از آیار رحمان از فیلم بردارم آنیل و از همه عواملی که کمک کردن به این پروژه واقعا ممنونشون هستم Also as you know all the crews have been Indians just only one Iranian assistant. It was a wonderful collaboration with all these Indian crew. They helped me a lot. I should appreciate all of them for such a wonderful experience. And um, so I feel actually that I can do with such a great help with them. Right. Also, also I should appreciate uh, Mr. Rahman, also Anil. The credits actually, my credit those who helped me a lot. برای این لطف کردن که بیان و در واقع در این فیلم حضور داشته باشن ولی خب قسمت نشد یه جورایی باید تشکر ویژه کنم از خود خانم دپیکا که خیلی تواضع به خرج داد و من لازمه که اینجا بگم که ایشون وقتی من ازشون خواستم که برای تست بیان تست نه به جهت اینکه تواناییشون رو بسنجن نه برای اینکه توی 
اون نقش ببینم چطوره و ایشون با تواضع خیلی کاملی اومدن و من ممنونم از خانم رفیکا هرچنی همکاری صورت نگرفت به دلایل مختلفی چون بر حالشون هم پروژه داشت و تاریخی که ما میخواستیم کار کنیم و دلایل دیگه این فرصت فراهم نشد ولی من جا داره که اینجا از همه عیزانی که برها در بالیوود بودن و اومدن تازانه اومدن تشکر کنم Also, I should appreciate all uh, Bollywood faces, Bollywood actors, actresses. Um, also, I should uh, make a special thanks to Mrs. Deepika. So she was very, very humble. And so even actually when we invited her to come, it was not actually for casting, but to put her in the situation to get the feeling of the film. And she was really humble. For different reasons, actually, we couldn't have this collaboration, but we hope in future we have this opportunity to work together. So I want to appreciate all those Bollywood faces who helped us and so supported us also on this project. Um, that was brilliant. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Reza. Thank you so much for your you know, help. And with your kind permission, let's take a look at the trailer now, shall we? I want to ask actually, because it's short, actually to play it twice, at least, to get the impression of the film. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. giving music for his movie, for Mr. Majidi's movie for the second time. How was it? And what is that one aspect of his filmmaking that you find the most unique or unique? Uh, there are different layers to filmmaking. Mm -hmm. I think there's one layer which I've understood much better through his filmmaking over years. And um, so it's a learning experience for me. Mm. Like he thinks in a way where Music is a character. And the character is not, uh, it has to play multiple roles. That's deep, that's deep. Okay, Mr. Majidi, how was your experience? Um, you know, once again, you worked with Mr. Rahman, so how was it for you? Well, I was a film of Peyambar, which was a very interesting job. We had a lot of time with Rahman, two years ago. As you know, my first experience with Mr. Rahman, it was for uh, the film Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. So we worked together very closely for approximately two years. Mm -hmm. So because of this uh, collaboration, it happened to be so close to each other. And Rahman جدای از بخش حرفه‌ایش این رو من جای دیگه هم گفتم خود شخصیت رحمان بسیار شخصیت دوست داشتنی و در حینی که آهنگساز بزرگه انسان متواضع بزرگی که برای من خیلی ارزشمنده so as i have mentioned several times besides actually the professional points of view he is a very very special person actually very very strong spiritual character and so it happened to have a kind of uh, very deep relationship, friendship together. And I really appreciate him because he was very, very busy, but as he is humble, he accepted to have this collaboration again together. And I really appreciate him because he was very, very busy, so it's a kind of unique experience working with A.R. Rahman. Never happened to be actually to fix our times together, always. <laughs> so we, we fixed the appointment for 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but the meeting happened actually at 10 o'clock at night. من بعضی وقتا میگفتم که این دفعه رحمان رو ببینم پنجره پردش میکنم پایی So I told to myself, yes I see Not always, not always همیشه هم حتی اینطور نبوده نه نه شک شکی ولی خب خیلی ارتباط خیلی خیلی برحال خوبی بود 
It was a great and also wonderful team experience. He has a very, very wonderful team as well. Team well talented, young, and so well experienced. و اینکه در کنار کارش به حال آموزش به جوونا میده این باز خیلی ارزش مند. And it's very valuable that actually beside working so also he tries to cheat to teach the uh, those who work with him as well. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for those kind words. And now ladies and gentlemen, it's time to invite on stage the lead pair and to start with uh, he is one of the most promising actors or kalke superstar ye maine nahi kaha mr majidi ne bola hua hai give it up for ishan khatar ladies and gentlemen come on make some noise Majidi to you know uh, share a couple of things about this amazing um, pair over here, their chemistry on screen and so on. بله ما قبل از که خب بازیگرایی که تو این فیلم بودن دو دستنیم. به هر حال بازیگرایی که برای بار اولشون که جلوی دوربین اومدن مثل ایشان. So we should categorize the actors of this film in two. So those who came actually for the first time in front of camera, like Ishan. And also Malvika, however, actually she had experience before, but it was a kind of a small experience in the cinema industry. And those who has worked professionally in cinema as well. از اونها در واقع نقش آکشی رو بازی کرد که به حال اسمشون شاد بوده ای که من خیلی ممنونم که به حال ایشون این لطف کردن که تو این فیلم هم بازی کنن ایشون برای کارگردان بزرگی هستن also i should uh, appreciate and thankful to the akshi character and so it was a great honor to have a mr gatam for this wonderful collaboration together um, خب معتقدم که بر حال تیم خیلی خوبی شد یعنی بر حال به خصوص بچه ایشان و ملویکا فوق العاده با استعدادن و من مطمئنم که این دو تا چهره جز به چهره های یعنی در واقع دو تا چهره به سینما بالیوود اضافه خواهد شد I should confess that both uh, Ishan and Malvika they are really really well talented and I believe that two strong and talented faces you should add to the bollywood cinema و خوشبختانه به هر کاراکترهای خیلی خوبی دارن هم ملویکا هم ایشان و خیلی دوست داشتنی بودن برای من با اینکه جوونن ولی خیلی خیلی آدمای با تجربه ای هستن نسبت به زندگی و کار however they are young but they are really also well experienced in the way actually they act and also try to learn and also in cinema industry ویژگی‌های خیلی زیادی دارن که من یک از ویژگی‌های ایشان رو برای اولین بار دوست دارم اینجا بگم. They have very lovely and wonderful characters. One of them I want to talk about Ishan is. ایشان خیلی خیلی انسان در واقع اینکه در جوونه خیلی معتقد هستش در واقع به اعتقادات در واقع خودش و انرژی‌های خوبی نسبت به اعتقادی که داره به عنوان مسلمان در واقع در کارش دیده میشه و ایشون با نماز انرژی خیلی خیلی خوبی میگرفت و من یادمه که هر وقت میخواست بازی سختی بکنه اون روز 
می اومد و نماز رو با هم می خوندیم و من این انرژی رو کامل می دیدم تو بازش و واقعا برای من خیلی حس خوبی که یه جوان اینجوری اونقدر اعتقاد داره به اون باورهای در واقع دینی خودش و قلبی خودش برای من خیلی ارزشمند بود he believes in his faith and also also in his religious um, thoughts and it happened actually that uh, several times because of this positive energy happened that we had very difficult scenes and on that day together actually we prayed and so get a very very wonderful and positive energy so it's very unique such a faith to what you believe um, از همه عواملی که توی فیلم برای خواهد بازی کردن کار کردن تشکر میکنم به خصوص هانی که الان اینجا در جمع شما هستش تشکر میکنم چون کست خیلی خیلی خوبی رو هانی برای من چین بهش و انجام داد و من جالبه که از هانی خیلی تشکر کنم برای اینکه بر حال یکی از سخت ترین بخشای فیلم کستینگ بود و خب من خیلی شناخت نداشتم و از اونجایی هم که میخواستم بازیگرم بخششون چهره های اول باشن Hani Barhal khayli khayli kamak kard ke man mamnunam az Hani. I'm thankful and I appreciate uh, my wonderful team, all the actors, the credits, those who collaborated. Also I should uh, appreciate Hani because of the wonderful casting that he did. Uh, it was a difficult process because it was important for me to find the talents and new faces and it was a great collaboration working with him. Man tashakkur mikunam ke Hani biyad ruy sahne And so I want also invite him to come on the stage and join us. Ladies and gentlemen, Hani Trehan, Zordar Talia, please. و همچنین در واقع از بچهای گروه که الان خب من اینجا میبینم زیبا هستش که خب یه ایرانیه و تو طراحی لباس بخشی از طراحی لباس به حال خیلی خیلی کار ویژه انجام داد که میخوام که از زیبا هم بیاد روی صحنه. Also I wanna invite Ziba actually as a costume designer. for you you know every every actor has this thing that you know ek din mujhe aisa dream debut milega aisa debut milega working with mr majidi in your first film how was it for you and what was that idol dream debut for you guys wo kya soch ke rakha tha uh namaskar adab hello everyone sabse pehle to main aap sab ka shukriya ada karna chahunga ki aap aaye um aur aapne hamara हमारी फिल्म की एक छोटी सी झलक देखी और मुझे उम्मीद है कि आप सबको पसंद आई होगी टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन ऑफ कोर्स एवरीबडी हैज एवरी एस्पायरिंग एक्टर वुड हैव एन आइडियल पिक्चर इन दिस माइंड ऑफ हाउ यू वुड वांट टू बिगिन हिज हिज जर्नी बट आई थिंक दिस इज एज क्लोज टू आइडियल एज इट वुड बी फॉर मी बिकॉज it's as an actor it's it's extremely important to uh, to begin with somebody who will set the foundation uh, for you um, and your um, craft and uh, i think uh, for me the biggest learning experience uh, was to observe him on set and uh, really meditate on what he uh, uh, would tell us and uh, and make us uh, perform like so it's it's been Uh, very special in that sense. Right, Malvika, the same question for you. Hello, everybody. It is working. Yes, yes it now is. It is. <laughs> um, I didn't. Um, speaking of an ideal debut, I, I wanted my film. I wanted to basically work with, really work with somebody whose work I believe in. You know, um, somebody's work that resonates with me on a personal level and. Uh, I've grown up watching a lot of Majidi sir's films, Children of Heaven, Song of Sparrows, and it really, I love the films. It's as simple as that. I loved his work, and you know, when I got the chance to work with him, it was it was more than a dream. It was uh, 
it was like everything just fell perfectly into place, you know. So it was more than what I could ask for, more than what I could um, imagine, you know, as cliche as it may sound. But it was perfect. So yeah. And the trailer looks perfect. It looks Thank you so fabulous. Much. So now, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's over to you. I know you have a lot of questions that you want to be answered by this amazing cast and crew over here. من قبل از که برای کسی صحبت بکنم میخوام که به هر حال تیم زیادی بودن که با هم کاری داشتن من جمله کاول که مجری طرح بود میخوام خواهش کنم که کاول بیاد روی صحنه also we had a great team but i cannot actually to see if they, all of them they are here but i forgot to ask kavel also to come on the stage Aishan, uh, welcome to Mansi, 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 please. Set designer, Mansi. Welcome, Mansi. So, Aishan, 70 mm is a great time. This is a film that has been shown in many places, so people have seen it. Did you have to sign the film before you signed the film that I should do this film? ظاہر ہے کہ میں اپنی مام کے ساتھ رہتا ہوں اور زیادہ تر وقت ان کے ساتھ ہی گزارتا ہوں تو ان سے ہی سب سے پہلے صلاح لی ہوگی اور ایبسلوٹلی دا فرسٹ پرسن آفٹر دیٹ آئی وڈ گو ٹو وڈ بی مائی برادر اینڈ یا اٹ واز آئی فیلٹ ویری اسٹرانگلی اباؤٹ دا فلم جیسے کہ آپ جانتے ہیں میں اس کے بعد بھی ایک فلم کر رہا ہوں کرن جوہر صاحب کے ساتھ اور ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم وی ون ٹاکس اباؤٹ اسٹارٹنگ دیٹ فلم ایز مائی فرسٹ فلم اینڈ سو آئی ہیڈ اے ورڈ ود ہم ایز ویل اینڈ آئی ٹولڈ ہم دیٹ آئی فیل ویری اسٹرانگلی اباؤٹ دس اینڈ آئی لائک ٹو ڈو دس فلم اینڈ ہی واز ویری گریشیس اباؤٹ اٹ اینڈ ہی لیٹ می گو اے ہیڈ اینڈ اینڈ ڈو دس فلم اینڈ فالو اٹ اپ ود ہز پروڈکشن So uh, I think these were the first three people that I spoke to about this. Yeah. And any particular tip did he, Shai Sahib, ne aapko ki ye karna aur ye nahi karna? Because baaki cheeze to aapne workshop li hai, dance ki sari practice bachpan se hui hai. Koi particular cheez shoot se pehle? Ji nahi, bilkul bhi nahi. Sirf unhone itna kaha tha ki apni dil ki suno aur just work honestly and work hard. That's it. Thank you, Shai. Hello, hi sir, here. I have a question for Mr. Majidi. Uh, I know you spoke about this, but is there something particular why you chose India to be your first film in a uh, foreign nation? Why is there something particular that drove you or you connected with in India? I can find out. خیلی جای مختلف گفتم نمیخواستم دیگه تکراری باشه ولی من سینمای هند رو با سینمای هند رو اساسا سینمای هند رو با سینمای استراتژیک فای شناختم و همیشه خیلی علاقه من شدم از سینمای استراتژیک فای اصلا به هند و نوع نگاه استراتژیک فای خیلی خیلی برای من ارزشمند بود و همیشه دوست داشتم در سرزمین جیترای در واقع کار بکنم به خاطر اینکه به شدت یکی از کسایی هستم که سینما جیترای رو در واقع ستایش میکنم این شاید یکی از بزرگترین عامل محرکای اصلی بود I have mentioned several times to this fact so I didn't intend to repeat again but I should say that uh, I uh, learned a lot and also I knew India based on actually the remarkable the Indian director Sajid Rai and so it was always my dream Uh, to make a film um, actually in his land. And so his viewpoint is very valuable to me, the style. And so I love whatever he has done and his work. It was one of the main reasons, the kind of motivation to happen once to make a film in his land. Hi, Ishan. Ravi from AVP News. Yes, sir. جیسے کہ آپ نے بتایا کہ آپ کو فلم کے بارے میں بہت اسٹرانگلی فیل ہوا کہ آپ کو یہ فلم کرنی چاہیے کرن جوہر سے بھی آپ نے صلاح لی کسی پوائنٹ پہ آپ کو ایسا نہیں لگا کہ یہ بہت آف بیٹ چوائز ہے کیونکہ بالی ووڈ میں 
जब लोग डेब्यू करते हैं तो एक बहुत मेन uh, स्ट्रीम उसमें करना चाहते हैं फिल्म में करना चाहते हैं तो आपको कहीं कहीं ये थॉट uh, लिंगर हो रहा था कि बहुत ऑफ बीट चॉइस है कुछ कुछ बताएंगे इसके बारे में क्या थॉट प्रोसेस था और ऑडिशनिंग का प्रोसेस, प्रोसेस भी बताएंगे किस तरह से आपको फिल्म मिली क्या uh, जी नहीं बिल्कुल ये ख्याल नहीं आया कि ये ऑफ बीट थाट है उम्मीद है कि आप फिल्म आके देखेंगे और ये बहुत ही खूबसूरत कहानी है और मुझे ये लगा कि लोगों को ज़रूर समझ आएगी और पसंद आएगी तो ऐसा बिल्कुल ख्याल नहीं आया ऑडिशनिंग के बारे में मैं ज़रूर आपको बता सकता हूँ ही हैज़ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोसेस उन्होंने हमें कुछ शूट करने के लिए भेज दिया था हनी से हनी सर के असिस्टेंट्स थे हमारे साथ और uh, uh, हम चार पांच थे और हमें वेरियस uh, uh, जगहों पे भेजा गया फ़ोन्स के साथ और uh, uh, हमें ये बताया गया था कि आपको फुटेज इकट्ठा करनी है और छोटा सा ब्रीफ दिया था कि इस तरह के सीन्स हैं uh, और uh, हमने एक छोटा सा प्रोजेक्ट ही समझ लीजिए बना के इनको दिखाया एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट ही चोज मी इन दिस फिल्म सवाल करूं कि आगे अगर फ्यूचर के बारे में बात करें किस तरह के सिनेमा में आप बिलीव करते हैं किस तरह का सिनेमा आप करना चाहेंगे किस एक्टर पे आप खुद को मॉडल करना चाहेंगे अगर हिंदी सिनेमा की बात करें तो और कौन कौन आपके फेवरेट है कौन कौन से एक्टर uh, uh, मेरे फेवरेट एक्टर्स तो कई सारे हैं आई थिंक सिनेमा के बारे में यही खास बात है कि uh, हर कोई uh, कभी कभार बहुत ही स्पेशल uh, uh, कुछ uh, uh, पेश करता है तो uh, uh, मुझे uh, मेरी फेवरेट फिल्में कई सारी हैं uh, मैं सबका नाम तो नहीं ले पाऊँगा क्योंकि बहुत ही लंबी लिस्ट है लेकिन uh, uh, इस इस तरह का सिनेमा करना चाहूँगा मैं uh, जिसकी कहानी पावरफुल हो और uh, जिसमें एक मैसेज uh, uh, हो और uh, और बस <laughs> अच्छी फिल्में करना चाहूँगा बस सिंपल सी बात है सर रहमान Hi sir this is Priyanka from Indian Express so uh, when you uh, when you collaborate with foreign filmmakers foreign directors is there a different kind of pressure which you have because people here already know your work they know what to expect of Rahman but when you work with someone outside the country is this something which bothers you or you go prepared tell me about that no i love doing that uh, my first experience was with Deepa Mehta i went to canada then i worked with Hefeng in china and uh, so i'm used to this with the translator because the language of uh, cinema as you know is universal and i always want something else to you know influence me or take me away from the monotony you know when you keep doing the same thing it's monotonous so i always look forward to something which is exciting and which would make me push me myself into fire this is one fire that Uh, Mr. Majidi, Justin here from PTI. Here, uh, I wanted to ask you: Your films back in Iran have almost always metaphorically commented on the social, political issues that the country faces, uh, which I believe would be difficult to do so if not for a filmmaker. Uh, in this world, uh, in this age of majoritarian politics ruling and with the hate wave rising, uh, how important do you think is it for artists to stand up and speak against the establishment? برای من همیشه تحت هر عنوانی چه مست تو مسائل اجتماعی چه سیاسی همیشه به حال انسان برای من مهمه و اون ارزش های در واقع انسانی فرقی نمیکنه که انسان در کجا این کره خاکی زندگی میکنه همیشه سعی کردم که در واقع به آدم ها نزدیک بشم به انسان نزدیک بشم و ارزش های در واقع تجلی اون ارزش های انسانی رو در واقع زنده میکنم So with regard to the social and again political issues, first actually I always pay attention and highlight to be a kind of human beings and also respect the human values. So it's important to, in any place that you work, just to uh, focus first on these values. چون برخود می نیکم جوری ممکن برخود یه بسر اجتماعی یا تو سیاسی هم اتفاق بیفته قصه ای و داستانی. ولی اون چیز که مهمه خود انسانه و پرداختن به 
مسائل درونی انسان it may happen actually that when you make a field so even with a social subject even you face a kind of political issues as well but i still believe that uh, the person actually and the human being and that values which actually we focus on that and so make the story it's very important on that subject so inam bedunid ke bar hal cinema mesel sayer dar waqe rasane dige nist journalist nist مثل روزنامه یا چیزای دیگه ممکنه که یه چیزی که امروز تو سیاست خوبه ولی فردا ممکنه اون چیز کهنه بشه یا خبر امروز ممکنه خبر فردا دیگه کهنه خبر دیروز برای خبر امروز دیگه کهنه است سینمایی در واقع میزنه که برها به انسان نزدیک و به ارزش های انسانی و به مسائل در واقع انسانی میپردازه این سینما خب همیشه در واقع ماندگاره Also, cinema actually is completely different from newspapers, from the other way of media, because maybe it happened that when you make a film and highlight a social subject to be a kind of political issue, but the next day would be different and so not so important. So this is the reason that I emphasize to focus on the human values. Parallel to the subject, it's important. So this kind of films always can be previewed and so can communicated idea. <laughs> As an example, I want to mention to Chill of Heaven. I made it uh, 20 years ago. But uh, still, the f- this title can communicate even with the young generation. It happened recently in a flight. I actually met an uh, eight years old girl, actually. And so she was so young, but actually, still actually, I love this film. I have seen it three times. It is the matter of communication. So one last thing, uh, was there ever a temptation to make Indian debut with perhaps big Bollywood stars? Uh, was there a temptation in your mind that way? To question to Mr. Majid. Yeah. البته من در فیلم بازیگر حرفه‌ای هم استفاده کردم و ولی بیشتر علاقه من بودم که با به خاطر اینکه قصه ها خیلی واقعی‌تر جلوه کنه با بازیگر غیر حرفه‌ای کار کنم. Of course actually as you know I have also worked with the professional actors in some of my films but because of this subject and also because of the storyline it happened to actually happen to find more actually new faces. ولی از اونجایی که به هر حال خب به خصوص در هند صنعت سینما و بازیگر خیلی خیلی تعیین کننده است خب دوست داشتم که برای این اتفاق می افتاد ولی خواستم که اتفاق به شکل درستی باشه ولی خب نشد ولی ممکنه در فیلم های بعدی بخوام کار کنم در هند قطعا از این ظرفیت بالیوود برای سینمای بالیوود قطعا استفاده خواهم کرد اونتا به شرط که سر جاش درست قرار بگیره ولی فقط نه به خاطر اسمش معتقدم که باید برای اون نقش در واقع I know that in Indian cinema industry it's important to have uh, famous faces and also I look I, I uh, would love to do that but it's important for me even in the future maybe this possibility to have these faces but uh, we should put this in the real character it's important to have a kind of um, uh, real and also important um, relation between the character and also between the person who is going to play and it may happen in the future hi shaheen to your right here in the white kurta hi congratulations the trailer looks very very gripping thank you very much for doing this but if i had to ask you a question how did you manage to convince this magician to come to india because ye collaboration bahut difficult hai aur sare crew members hindi mein baat kar rahe hain ye apni language mein hai to i'm sure this must have been a big uh, challenge for all the actors as well aapne ye socha kyun aur how did you make it possible aur kitne saal se aap ye soch rahe hain 
We actually, um, like you said, like for six, seven years, we've been in touch. And uh, my partner, and uh, Kishore and me, got this idea that, uh, you know, we, we all, of course, watch Children of Heaven. That was like our starting point. And we said, why not, uh, you know, have him here in India to make an Indian film? And that's when we contacted him. And then, obviously, he, want, he made us wait. He didn't just say yes immediately. But uh, he saw how, how, you know, interested we were. And we were, like, chasing him nonstop. And finally, he agreed to do it. Yes, language, like we said, cinema has no language. It's actually, which is very true, because um, I think we just understand each other. And the entire team will tell you that, that it's a very comfortable working association. Like, by now, what he's saying doesn't need to be translated. Half the things are just understood. <laughs> I, my question is to Mr. Rehman. Uh, uh, is there a test process that you have uh, before you release your music and song? And secondly, is there any particular song or album which you felt would do really well in Lint or vice versa? Um, the test process between the creative people, director and... Or the audience, um, a select audience. No, we don't do all that. <laughs> uh, from the beginning, I think it's... It has to be, I'll ask, I have to like it first, and then I'll give it to the director. And he has to like it, and then, because he has, is putting in all his energy. Um, yes, we want every music to be, you know, popular and to be received well, but um, sometimes it takes time. And the sincerity is uh, always noticed. So I don't care if it, people don't, you know, receive it in the beginning or not. Sometimes, you know, after six months, they say, oh, it's a great album. I was thinking, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> any it takes time. <laughs> any particular album which you felt uh, was received late the way you wanted? Many albums. <laughs> my story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just take one last question, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, please. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Malvika and Dishan, many congratulations. Malvika looking gorgeous. Malvika, how was it uh, <laughs> taking this role? And uh, probably many major actresses were also probably uh, on the line to get this role. Um, yeah, I've been told they were. But um, I wasn't aware of much when uh, Honey Sir uh, we all owe him this one. When uh, Honey Sir called me to his office, and you know, uh, it was the first time I'd met Honey Sir. And I sat down, and the first thing he tells me is, um, it's a Majid Majidi film. And I just stared at him blankly because I didn't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> Drama queen. I didn't know how to. Uh, I mean, I don't know what was happening, you know. And uh, things happened really quickly, and I got the film. and. The shoot also started pretty quick, so I didn't have much time to really think about what was happening with other people or um, much uh, until after the film got over. I, I, I wasn't aware of much. No, no, I, I, I knew, but not a lot, not, not the details. But yeah, I mean, I think I was just focused on what was required out of me, and I was just happy to have gotten the chance. Ishan, uh, looking smart. <laughs> you said it. Thanks, man. Compliment me, then. Uh, Took you a while. Uh, Ishan, more competition for Shahid at home also? Sorry, can you repeat that? More competition for Shahid at home? Is, is that a question? Yeah. In with what sense? That you are coming in the film industry. But if I'm coming in films, why would that be competition at home? Competition like with Shahid. Like he will be having more people to... No, man. He's, he's, uh, he's almost like... Uh, you know, like a teacher, he's a very paternal figure in my life. I've uh, uh, learned so much by watching him. Uh, I can't possibly consider myself competition to him. I, and uh, and in fact, I would say we're a team. Mr. Majidi, uh, how do you see the uh, cinema industry in India? What's your thoughts, the film being made in India? What about them? I mean, I see it the no way no, you I see it in, in, in theaters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you should probably mention that I that's addressed to. Which 
Mr. Majidi, what are your thoughts for the Indian film industry, the films being made here? خب یه ذر قضاوت خیلی سختیه برای اینکه برها خب من همه فیلم های هند رو که نیدم ولی برحال برای اندیکه هست مثل همه جای دنیا برها فیلم های خوب داره فیلم های متوسط و فیلم های بد متوسط خوب داره برحال مثل همه جای در واقع دنیا ولی اون چیزی که خیلی مهمه اینه که سینمای هند به نظر من به جهت تکنیکی رشد خیلی خیلی خوبی کرده که برای من خیلی سورپرایز بزرگی بود که دیدم سینمایی تو بخشای تکنیک به واسه تو بخشای ویژوال ویژوال افکت سی جی آی خیلی خیلی رشد خوب بود بلاز تکنیکی و این به نظر من برها خیلی ارزشمنده ایتس دیفیکالت تو میک انی کایند اف جادجمنت اور اوالویشن بیکاز آی دو نات هاف دی چانس تو سی اول دی ایندین فیلمز اند سو هاو ایور وی کان کاتگورایز لایک اول اراوند دی ورلد این اول دی کانٹریز the films into different categories, those who are very well received by the audience, best one, or those in a actually uh, different categories. But the, the most important thing for me, which surprised me very well, it was the improvement and development of Indian cinema on the technical side as well, as an example for visual effect. Uh, so it's very remarkable, and so it's a very considerable process which has happened to Indian cinema. یا تو بخش های دیگه مثل مثلا ست دیزاینر خب مانسی هم اینجا سابقا شگفت زده شدن از کاری که مانسی میکرد و ست هایی که برای من آماده میکرد منو شکه میکرد تو یه تایم خیلی خوب و اون چیزی که میخواستم رو در واقع اجرا میکرد و برای من خیلی عجان انگیز بود که این تجربه با تیم خیلی عالی بود or in the other fields that has set designing whatever مانسی did It was a matter of surprise very quickly, get the feeling and so to understand what I expect and so organize it very quickly. I want to say the technical points is very, very important, as I can say, as one of the development Indian cinema. I have been really, really lucky and blessed. Um, my journey continues. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for the love. On that note, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Zordar Talia, uh, here for this you, amazing cast and crew of the movie question, Beyond the Cloud. Yes, sorry. One thing that I really like in the movie Rahman Nagam, I want to say this is a very good experience. I should uh, just uh, mention to one point about Rahman. It's one of the, I believe, because one of the secrets of the success of Rahman. I have worked with many uh, composers. But ولی انگاری که اولین موسیقیه که داره میسازه برای این فیلم یعنی به عنوان حسش اینه که اصلا اینجوری نیست که وقتی میسازه آدم خیلی معمولی موسیقی رو میسازه و وقتی که میگه خوب نیست میگه اوکی به راحتی میذارتش کنار however he is very uh, well known and actually well experienced very professional and so but at the same time when he wants to work so he act in a way that it is for the first time that it's going to work and pay attention to all the details and whatever your expectation is. مثلا در مورد پروژه پیامبر هم همین جور بود در کشورهای مختلف که به حال می‌رفت و برای ضبط و یا کار رحما کار می‌کردم می آورد و می‌گفتم که کل اینا اصلا خوب نیست. به راحتی می‌ذاش کنار نه اینکه حتی ناراحت بشه یا چیز بشه اصلا خیلی و برای من خیلی خیلی حس خوبی بود و من مثل آدمی که تمام می‌کردم بیشتر بهتر و بهتر می‌خواستم. So uh, for the during the project of Muhammad, so it happened to travel to different countries, and so it happened sometimes he worked and so present whatever he has done to me and say, I said Rahman, it's not my taste or mm, actually not the favorite written which I expected. Very easily he could accept and very in a humble way accept it at that point, and so this made me to have more expectation and more expectation from him to have a better conclusion. و تا اون چیزی که مورد درخواست من نبود اتفاق نمی افتاد تعطیلم یعنی ما گفتش که اگه 
ده بار هم این موسیقی رو کار میکردم و نمیپسندیدم دوباره کار میکرد و این به نظر من که رمزای موفقیت به هنر من داره و رقمتون هم نمیده and even for 10 times maybe i ask and so in a very humble way he accepted till to meet my expectations so it is he is superstar but at the same time very humble it's one of the secrets of <laughs>